Well, here's another weird variety of drug labels you're going to see with this reconstitution thing. Okay, they cycle over here. There's a thousand milligrams in this bottle. We're supposed to get by IV only. But now look at this, and this, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, the contents of the vial. See, this company makes a 500 milligram vial or bottle, and they make a thousand milligram bottle. And if it's a 500 milligram bottle, how much of the, do we, do we add? Well, we add 10 milliliters, but we have the which? We have the thousand milligram bottle. So with a thousand milligram bottle or vial, we add 20 milliliters. Now, why they didn't make a separate label for their two separate bottles, I don't know, but they didn't. They make one label. So whether you have the thousand milligram bottle or you have the 500 milligram bottle, you read the same label and see which one. So what are we doing here? The thousand milligram bottle, we add 20 milliliters of diluent. But now we need to know how strong this stuff is after we mix it up. Well, you read down here, the resulting solution in each case, either way you do it, you end up with 50 milligrams per milliliter. There's the dosage strength. So what do you need to know about this one? You must know which bottle size you have and look at which bottle size you have. In this case, this one, I'm going to add 20 milliliters of diluent. And after I do that, I have 50 milligrams of the medicine in each one milliliter of liquid. So those are the numbers I use in my dosage calculation. Whatever the order is, you put the order over one, then times what? 50 milligrams per one milliliter. A similar thing right here, another kind of label. There's the two gram bottle. It's got two grams of this stuff in the bottle. Same kind of thing. The vial size, there's a one gram bottle. There's a two gram bottle available. Well, I've got the two gram bottle. So I use this one. Realize there's a whole lot of numbers I don't need to know. What do I need to know? The amount of diluent to add. Well, if I have the two gram bottle, I'm gonna add three milliliters of the diluent. So that's how much diluent I'm gonna to have to add, three milliliters. What this is, I don't even know that. That just tells me how much is in the bottle after I mix it up. What I need to know is how strong is this stuff? Well, right there. This tells me the concentration in milligrams per milliliter. Meaning, since I've got the two gram bottle, I add three milliliters of diluent, I now have 500 milligrams per milliliter. So whatever my order is, I put the order over one, what is my dosage strength? 500 milligrams per milliliter. And how do I get it that way? By adding three milliliters of the diluent. Again, what are these numbers? That's if I have the one gram bottle. I don't, I have the two gram bottle. The one gram bottle, you do it this way, but I don't have that one. Ignore those numbers. Ignore this number also, because that's just how much total is in the bottle. So to reiterate, if you're an Aggie, that means I'm going to say this again. There's a whole bunch of numbers you don't need to know. In this case, a whole bunch of numbers you don't need to know. You need to know how much dough you want to add. You need to know how strong it is once it's mixed up. And I get this number because I know how big the bottle is.